What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything I Device, and I got a pretty awesome city of tweak for you guys to check out in this video. Now excuse me if I pronounce it wrong, but I believe it is Punjiong, I'm not exactly sure, but weird name aside, this is a very, very cool tweak. Uh, in a nutshell, basically it allows you to cycle through wallpapers or photos on your home screen. So I really do like this tweak, you know, it's almost like a screensaver in a way. Uh, if you decide to use it that way, there's a ton of settings and it does offer a lot uh, So first off you do have your on off switch right there. Also, here's where you choose your wallpaper and this is uh, Basically the albums within your photos app uh, So you have your camera roll and then also here I do have my album of wallpapers HD Which I have selected you can even disable if you'd like and then here you have order So which order these wallpapers or photos will you know be displayed so you can uh, start it from the beginning of the album uh, the end of the album or it just be completely random also here you have content mode this is for you know photos you might have that are in a you know different aspect ratio you know for say uh, photos that were taken in landscape uh, this will give you options on how you'd like to you know fill up the screen um, even you know keeping it to one side or the other uh, a ton of different options fill aspect fit aspect fill center top bottom left and right uh, so if we can back out here again, and this is where you get to choose, you know, how often it cycles through these wallpapers or photos. I have it set at every five seconds, uh, just to demonstrate in this video, but you can do 10, 15, 20, 30, uh, one minute, five minutes, 15, 30, and then every hour or even once a day. So I like the range of this selection here, nice range. Uh, now, once we get down into this section, this is where it gets pretty customizable. So home screen, uh, home screen items, you have your icons, your page indicator and dock. So if I kick back out here to my home screen, as you can see, everything is hidden. And as soon as I touch the screen, it reappears. And even how long it appears for is uh, customizable as well. So if I wanted to hide everything except for my dock, I can go ahead and turn my dock on. Now, uh, down here in home screen options, if you have hidden state off it won't hide anything so you gotta have that on and then you can basically do these you know in any kind of combo you would like I like keeping them all off but just for sake for the video I'll keep the dock on to show you guys so hidden state is on and then you have display after touch so how long the icons and page indicator are displayed for before they disappear again so I have it set at one second it that's really not ideal it's a little too fast um, I think 3.5 to 5 seconds is kind of perfect. You can even go all the way up to 20 seconds. So we'll keep it at 3.5. I'll back out. And then you have the same options for it when you exit a folder. So how long until all the icons, etc. disappear. So if we back back out again, and then I can go ahead and touch the screen. And as you can see, the icons will stay appeared for about 3.5 seconds. So awesome settings with Punjiang. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Cydia and I'm going to show you guys how to get it. Now once you're in Cydia, all you got to do is search Punjiang. Again, excuse me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, this is a paid tweak. It's a weird price. It's $1.39 uh, from the Big Boss repo. But my, in my opinion, you know, $1.39, this is a pretty awesome tweak. Probably definitely worth the price. As you can see, half of it is in Korean and then uh, there's the American portion. So um, you know, pretty awesome tweak. Again, that's Punjiang allows you to cycle through wallpapers or photos on your home screen. All the uh, tweak information is down in the description. And if you guys are curious about the wallpapers I'm using, I got them all from my favorite wallpaper application. And I do have a video on that. So I'll leave the video link for that down in the description as well. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely throw me that thumbs up. That will help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more tweak reviews, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything I Device, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.